Okay, y'all, now is the absolute perfect time to do positions. What it do, surprise, Shadi <laughs> So y'all know for probably like a week now, I've been saying I wanted to do songs. Um, that's how we feel about our kingdom husbands. So this is going to be the first one with me having that like soul intent in mind and if y'all think of something while you're listening to the lyrics or when the holy spirit starts speaking through me that's something in addition to the lyrics please leave that in the comments i want this to be something that encourages our brothers in christ who are standing or um maybe they just need reassurance on how their um kingdom wife feels but i want this to be such a like loving exciting place for them right so that's what the goal is going to be in the comments are y'all ready for this i'm ready for this so before i get in the lyrics we just want y'all to know like these are literally like letters to husband like from our hearts right but we want y'all to know like i feel like we can't say this enough and i am saying we i'm speaking on behalf of the wifey team we want to play all these roles for you we want to learn how to play all these roles for you our desire is to be proverbs 31 women in your life understanding acknowledging respecting the fact that you are known in the city gates that a man that moves like you that holds it down like you that takes care of home like you god wants to bless you with wives like us playing all these positions okay and he did give me some that she didn't necessarily hit at in the lyrics um one of which is nanny like to your kids to our kids i'll be the daycare teacher i'll be the maid i don't care but the reason that one came up is because i was listening to little baby yesterday one of the songs he was saying he wants um a nanny so that his sons can be with him because when you are called to different lifestyles you do gotta move a lot like you a shaker you a mover okay he also told me mr make it happen meets mrs make it happen okay but that just because they move like that, that don't mean that they don't desire to have their kids with them. And that even hits on um, some of the lyrics in Matrimony that I picked up on when he's talking about having, I think he said something like the kids on the plane with them or like going with them and they sneaking kisses on set and all that. Like just because a man or a woman is called to different arenas, that doesn't mean they don't still have that family orient oriented um, place in their heart. That doesn't mean that they want or don't want to be around their family, their wife, their children, okay? So if it means I am the nanny, bae, like I, I got us, I'm gonna make sure we get there so your family is where you at, then so be it. And that's what it is, okay? Now that's specific for some of y'all, all right? In these lyrics, and I do have a verse, which is crazy because God gave me the verse last night and I did not know he was gonna say use it when I did this song release. So, heaven sent you to me, okay? We know that heaven sent you to me i'm just hoping i don't repeat history okay and so for a lot of us this is what i was reflecting on i know i went hard in my counterfeit situations and the men i'm sure y'all feel like that too but i know i went hard in the counterfeit situations the song i was reminded of and i was pulling up was um armand and trey have a song called right back and i always wonder like why be singing this like i'm the man and i really like feel what he's saying all I know is my man wasn't going through a time in the season where he felt like that. But in the song, he says, how you mess up with a man like me? You truly lucked up with a man like me. Uh, slow it down. Tone it down. One of those. Held you up. I used to hold it down. Right? Right. If we know we went hard in counterfeit situations, we think that they didn't. Okay. And so understand that heaven sent you to me sent you to me i'm just hoping i don't repeat history whether that's the history of we went hard in the wrong places or it's um i don't do all those things right it, and i'm gonna do them now i didn't do all those things in the other situation but you was never called to do all those things in the situation okay so fret not so um then she goes into our part boy i'm trying to meet your mama on a sunday which i just mentioned in a previous upload okay and i was saying how to me that means um you know going to church with her and stuff praise and worship that's family day sunday is when we all get together and we eat and stuff i'm trying to meet your mama on that day like i can bring it on that day and everybody who knows me know that i joke that all the time like it don't matter where he want to take me. It's going to work. You want to take me to church? We in there. You want to take me to the club? We'll figure it out. You need to take me to a business meeting? We will figure that out. Like Q's Beyonce upgrades you. Like I'm going to get in where I fit in with this man. Switching the positions. 
Hey, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. They make a lot of love on a Monday. That's two totally separate roles, okay? That's me being what you need at the house as God ordained for me to be that for you. Yes, pleasure for you. How cool is that, right? Um, You'll never need no one else, babe, because I'll be switching the positions for you. Now, let's pause here. Y'all know that I had a vision where it was like a carousel of uh, the woman switching shoes and stuff. And God had me release that. It was for all her different roles. It was for a Proverbs 31 type of woman. Okay, you'll never need no one else, babe, because I'll be switching the positions for you. Cooking in the kitchen and I'm in the bedroom. You need a chef? I got you, right? You need a maid? I got you. All these things we've listed. So if y'all think of some things, list it in the comments. You need a secretary? You need an assistant? You need a manager? You need a scheduler? What do you, do you need? I got you. Do you need an investor? I got you. Do you need a, 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 a dry cleaner? I got you. A masseuse? I got, what is it? I got you, right? And we get to carry the seed? Stop it. All right, cooking in the kitchen and I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the Olympics way. I'm jumping through hoops, right? Know my love, infinite, nothing that I wouldn't do, that I won't do, switching for you. And I really believe in this hour, God is given us like it brings us joy the thought of being able to play those roles for you and and when we are able to play those roles for you we're gonna do it gladly right we're gonna be happy to switch the positions um perfect perfect you're too good to be true you're too good to be true but i get tired of running so again y'all know that i was the runner she's a runner she's a track star but i get tired of Forget it. Now I'm running with you. I don't want to run away from you no more. I want to run with you. I want to put all this energy into running with you, into building what we need to build. So heaven sent you to me and then perfect, perfect, you're too good to be true. The verse he gave me, which is the verse we did in the love don't change word, right? It's James 1 and 17. This is the verse God gave me last night. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above, coming down from the Father of lights with whom there is no variation or shadow due to change. Every good gift and every perfect gift. In the beginning, she says, heaven sent you to me. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. Heaven sent you to me. Then the next part says, um, perfect, perfect, you're too good to be true. Every good and perfect gift comes from above. So there's the scripture. Okay, James 1 and 17. And no, I know we're making this for the husbands, but we know that y'all see us like that. I always try to encourage my brothers because I was a runner. She gonna get tired. She gonna start running one day, okay? Um, said, boy, I'm trying to meet your mama on a Sunday. They make a lot of love on a Monday. I <laughs> never need no one else, babe, because I'll be. He won't. He won't need a cheap thrill. He won't be outside looking for attention. He won't be outside looking for help. All those things were when they're when they're missing that because God has told us um, there's a need and he's allowing us to see the need because we're going to fill um, that role. We're going to fill that need. They won't be out here searching and wandering for that. They won't need no one else because everything they need, God has equipped us to be that. Okay. Every role, God has equipped us to play it. You'll never need no one else, babe, because I'll be switching the positions for you. Cooking in the kitchen and I'm in the bedroom. I'm in the Olympics way. I'm jumping through hoops. No, my love, infinite, nothing that I wouldn't do, that I won't do. Switching for love you. Love don't run out. The desire to play those roles won't run out. The love is infinite. So my energy, my stamina, my ability, my desire to switch these positions for you that's infinite too. Jumping through who's what we said. He said jump. I'm like, how high, babe? Do you want? Yep. Do you, can you? Yep. Sure can. I'm in the Olympics the way I'm jumping through hoops. And you can do that with your kingdom spouse, right? Um, she repeats it. Yeah. Or no, I already read it. She don't repeat it. Just kidding. No, my love, infinite, nothing that I wouldn't do, that I won't do, switching for you. So y'all y'all don't have to be scared if you need help, you need assistance, you want us to do something, you want us to try something, learn something. Don't be afraid. That's your wife. That's your wife, okay? Um, all right, then the special part, this um, stuff that I usually don't do, but for you, I kind of want to. 
because you're down for me and I'm down too. Right. And we know that that's what gives us the green light, the safety, the peace to be like that with y'all because you're down for us. And we know that. And this is some stuff I usually wouldn't do. But for you, I kind of want to. Right. I actually desire to. And it don't even just have to be switching the positions and stuff around the house for the man, for the um kids. G running to God to learn how to love the way God wants me to love. That's something I, I, I ain't never did. Right. Learning how to be a wife. I, I wanted to learn how to be a wife, but how to be this man's wife. This is some stuff I usually wouldn't do. Learning how to be vulnerable. Learning how to love when I'm scared. Learning how to jump when I'm scared. Learning how to trust and believe what he's saying. And really try. This is some stuff I usually wouldn't do. It's not just the stuff around the house, right? But just in my heart, let you in. For you, I kind of want to. Because you're down for me and I'm down for you, Okay? I'm down too. Switching the positions for you. And then she repeats it. This is some that I usually don't do. <laughs> but for you, I kind of kind of want to. Because you're down for me and I'm down too. A lot of women, uh, you know, uh, even us just being able to be soft, act soft, acknowledge like, hey, that hurt my feelings or I need help. I need you to come through and help and, and save me, rescue me, babe, right? Like, this some stuff I usually wouldn't do. Let down my walls. Oh, okay. Heard that loudly. But for you, I kind of want to. I want to experience real love with who I'm supposed to. So this stuff that I usually wouldn't do, I'm going to do it for you. I want to for you, right? Um, then she just repeats it. Switching the positions for you. I'm in the kitchen and I'm in the bedroom. Even with the cooking part, let me be great. Even with the cooking part. Um, it's not just playing the positions for them. If y'all are going to have a bonus child or bonus children, like you, you should desire to play those roles for them too. Their maid, clean up after them, their chef, right? All of that. Like when I eat now, if I cook, I'm definitely like, I wonder if everybody would want to eat this. Or if I'm eating, be like, what would everybody else be eating right now, right? Like the husband, the kid, the children, whatever it is for you. Doing their laundry, upkeeping their room, helping them with homework. Do you need a tutor? You need a bedtime story reader? Like, what is it? And is so and if you so man, man, brothers, if you have children, a child, God is preparing your wives your wife's heart to play whatever role is needed in their lives as well when they're with you, okay? Um, with y'all, cooking in the kitchen and I'm in the bedroom, that part's definitely for the husband. I'm in the Olympics way. I'm jumping through hoops. No, my love infinite, nothing I wouldn't do that I won't do switching for you. Amen. We love Y'all, don't doubt it, okay? Don't doubt it. All right, that's the first song of this series. 